I've been getting questions about a dollar's new pricing. So people want me to do a new versus video of Flutterflow versus uh, Adalo, and I will. But I want to talk about something real quick before I go into pricing. And yes, they did change the pricing apparently and what they did for a free plan and all those things. Let's talk about one thing. Why are you doing this? What kind of app are you trying to build? The reason I ask that is before we go into pricing and all these things is this channel is teaching you how to create a profitable side hustle in business. And so when we look at pricing and all these things, I'm going to just be flat out and tell you, and by the way, I'm not getting paid by a dollar to say this. I don't see the big deal about this. And I'm going to give you the reason in two different ways throughout this video, but this isn't a big deal. And it all comes down to, and we talk about this, how to validate a profitable side hustle. We have this available. This is free. There's going to be a link down below. And what I really think it has to do with is, have you validated your idea yet? Have you validated your idea? And what does that mean to you? Is it getting interest where people are saying that's a great idea? Do you have users willing to use the app? Do you have willing paying users? Do you have different sponsorship that will pay for the app? Those are some things that I would like to consider. Because if we look at pricing, yes, Adalo is now saying that for the free plan, it's 200 records per app, 1,000 monthly app actions, and then database collection, unlimited screens, unlimited test apps. That's for free. Okay, that's for free. Let's bring this up just a little bit more. All right, so we can see the pricing. What does a thousand monthly app actions mean? Well, we're going to look that up in a second. But is this enough to get validation for your app? Is this enough for you? You have to make the, you have to decide on your, for yourself. But what are you trying to do? Are you going for VC funding? Are you bootstrapping your app? Is this enough for you to gain traction? Number two is. Are you having your users pay for your app? If not, why not? Are you still trying to figure out the, the value prop for them to pay you? Uh, are you looking for sponsors? Why are you not making money yet? Or have you not asked and validated if it's a good enough idea? That's something to consider. And everyone is building different apps, different, you know, different processes, all those things. So in the comment section, let me know what's going on with you. Now, the thing that I'll mention as we go through this is we need to figure out what this means for actions. So let's take a look at this. Monthly app actions. What does it mean? Executed actions within your published apps available across your account. Okay. So if that's the case, executed actions. So this is not just, um, you know, API requests or Zaps, you know, if you're using Zapier or Maker and there's something to do with third party, it looks like just executed action. So it could be clicks, it could be all of those other things. And if you need more details, remember, reach out to their team if there's something that I miss, or maybe if the team, um, let me know in the comment section down below from Adalo if I'm not reading that correctly. Now, let's see basic actions. It says create, update, delete link, or other actions two power apps okay so basic actions okay so we have that create advanced logic for filtering visibility based on on and or rules okay so if we're going to be using different things like that custom formulas okay ecosystem you can be using the free marketplace components help docs adalo academy okay so the real thing that I, I see people wondering about is the actions. So that could be possibly going to another page, thousand actions. Okay. So it depends on how many users that you have and what they're going to be doing in the app. Uh, the starter plan, then it goes to 10,000 actions, 30,000, and then a hundred thousand actions. If you're paying $200 business is 1 million actions. So the first thing I would say is like, how many users are, are you onboarding right now and what's going on? What do you need to do? Now, some might say, Doc, like you're minimalizing it. You're not getting, this is a huge deal to me. This, so it depends on what kind of app you're trying to build. I would say a bigger deal to me is Adalo being slow. Like if I'm looking at what's going on here, I have, I've been looking at other people's apps. Now, by the way, I'd like to 
you know, flip it on the other side. I also know people that have been able to secure funding, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars using Adalo as their first MVP and then moving to another platform. So I'm not saying Adalo doesn't have uh, validity or it shouldn't be good. It allows people to build a lot of apps, validate, and then move on from there. I haven't seen it scale well with a lot of when it's having a lot of components or a lot of different uh, API calls and those things. Yeah, I've heard the app is very slow for a lot of apps. So to me, the pricing is not even like the thing of the 1,000 actions. It's just slow. And I've, I've talked to the team before, and you can talk to them. Could be wrong. And by the way, as you can tell, I'm not sponsored by them. Talk to the team. I'm in the App Academy for Adalo. But I'm, as you can see, I'm pretty consistent throughout all of these uh, reviews throughout the years when I find out different things are happening. So we're in 2022. This is the reality right now. Now things could change and they did some updates with their speed, but I haven't been able to see any clocking any tests or seeing how that has been handled when it's large amounts of data or you know a large database. So that's to be seen. And if there's any difference, please let me know. Dalo team, anyone that's using it with over 10,000 rows of data, please let me know in the comment section down below how the app is working for you. So again, if we're looking at pricing and the app actions, yes, it's less, but what do you need to do to get to validation for the next step for your app? If this is a platform that allows you to show investors or for them to get the light bulb moment and the aha moment for them to now invest in you, and then you go over to another platform like Flutterflow or Bubble or all those other things, is that worth it to you? Is that a good thing? And sometimes when you're building MVPs, you might have to rebuild it on another platform. Now, let's go on the other side where people are saying, okay, compare it to Flutterflow. Flutterflow could be a good option for you. But remember, every platform has their own pros and cons. Are you doing a native mobile application? Are you focused on having this on your phone? Flutterflow might be the thing for you. Is it really important for you to have your own source code, to take it with you? One of the only low-code or no-code no platforms allows you to take your code with you is Flutterflow. Why? It's because it's actually making the code for you as you're visually building it. Other platforms like Adalo, Bubble, and others, they just can't. That's not how it's designed. This is built on Flutter, right? So it's going to give you, it's going to spit out code. It's going to allow you to now take it with you if you want to, if you want to. But again, it allows you to expand. It allows you to do a lot more with custom APIs. And if we're looking at this, the pricing is zero, 30, and $70. For more details, I've done a breakdown on Flutterflow against Adalo twice. So if you want to see more breakdown and me talking about it, there's going to be links somewhere down below. But this is just highlighting the different packages. Yes, different prices, 0, 30, and 70 versus 0, 45, 65, 200, and 250. Now, for Adalo, you can start for free and you can still get unlimited test apps. This might be the thing for you to get in front of the right investors, to get in front of your audience, to see if you have that traction, to see if this is right for you. Others, it's not a good fit. And then for others, you're looking at, can I stay for a platform long term where I can scale and be able to build a business on it? If I'm looking for scaling, so scale, yeah, scaling my business, I'm going to go with Flutterflow. I'm going to go because then I'm going to be able to move into it, be able to scale on this thing, be able to do this. But I consider Flutterflow on the low code aspect if you really want to get a lot out of this because you're going to have to do some, you're going to have to do some kind of coding or collaborate with a developer to be able to really make this high powered. But you can get very far with this just with your no code background and you'll be able to see where your limitations are. Then you can go to a Flutterflow expert if you want to, if it makes sense for you, and then be able to scale up from there. In the comment section down below, let me know what's going on with you. Are you still in the validation stage? Have you got your first customer? Are you talking to investors? What's going on? Or is this just something you're scratching your own itch, which is totally fine and is something personal and you just want to do this and you, you're trying to keep costs down? Let me know. If you want more details on validating your side hustle, there's going to be a link down below.
and a video how you can turn your idea into reality. We go through this whole flow sheet, uh, flow chart, and we talk about the seven steps to build a profitable digital product, including what we just talked about, finding your right customer, finding the pain points, making sure that this is the right fit. And then, then after validating this, after seeing if they're ready to pay, then you take their money and then you build your MVP. And I'm really big on put your put their money where their mouth is. Send them a payment link. See if they're willing to pay because tons of people will tell you, yes, I want your app. And then you spend hours, years, months building your app and then you bring it back to your audience and then they him and haw. And they're not ready to pay. And you could be focusing on something a lot deeper if you go through the seven steps and see if they're willing to pay and see if it moves the needle. People pay for things that they want. doesn't matter if it's shoes, if it's a phone, if it's a TV, if it's entertainment, people will find the money. The same thing with your app or what you're doing. You have to see if your app, if your idea is good enough that people are willing and excited to pay you for your idea, for your potential app. You could even offer a discount and say, hey, we're in development, all those things, but you're seeing if they're serious or not. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. We do this every single week. And let me know if you have more questions in the comment section down below.